All right guys, Nick here. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, you're gonna learn a key skill as video editor um, with Photoshop. So what we're gonna learn today is how to take a client's logo um, that either you rip off the internet or that you get from uh, the client. Maybe that, that image, that asset has a background, it has a white background, a, a colored background, or just whatever. It has something in the background that you do not want and you want to be able to put it into your video um, clean without a background just the logo and you're seeing the background of your footage so let's go ahead and check that out now here we are we have our footage we're gonna do a little golf theme today so let's we didn't get anything from the client let's go ahead and get rip it off of Google we're going to images here's the thing so what you need to know is there's a couple different types of images that you will find most popular to use so Either it's gonna be a JPEG, PNG, a TIFF, an AI, EPS, PDF, a lot of different files, formats you can have. What you want is a PNG. So PNG is basically like what this is right here um, with a checkered background. What a PNG means is that it has a transparent background, which is good, that's what we wanna do. What you will find though, when you're trying to rip off logos off the internet, a lot of things are copyrighted and they won't let you mess with it in Photoshop. You'll get a warning. So let's go ahead and try this one. I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna go ahead and right click, go save image to downloads. I'm gonna grab it in downloads here. All right, and see this is a JPEG, JPEG image. So if I were to try and put this into Premiere right now, this would look terrible. See what I mean? Don't want the white. Don't want the white. I want no white. How do we do that? Can't do that in Premiere. Only do that in Photoshop. So what we gotta do, have our image. We gotta make sure we unlock it right here. You guys see that on the right side? Unlocking the image and the layer. And then I'm just gonna go up to this one really cool tool called the Magic Wand Tool. And basically it's showing you what it does right there. Boom. I click on not on the logo, I'm not clicking on the black, I'm clicking on the white, the background. It selects everything. I can zoom in and show you a little bit better. W for the wand tool. Again, I'm not clicking the black, clicking the white. I hit delete. Look at that, boom. I'm gonna select all these little white marks inside the logo. Make sure you always do that because then when you put it in, it's gonna look really bad. And there's a little white in the trademark sign here. Zoom back out, that's what we want. Checkerboard on the background. Now, file, export. I'm gonna quick export as a PNG. Let's look at export as. So again, I don't wanna export it as a JPEG. I wanna export, yeah, GIF, SF, SVG. PNG, again, transparency, that's marked. Perfect, that's what we want. Cool, and now I'm gonna go back into Premiere. I'm gonna show you, again, here's the bad one. New one that we just made, PNG. Aha, look how good that looks. Oh, look how bad that looks. Look how good that looks, bad, good, bad. See, great. So that's what we want. Show you. Taylor May Golf. Book your next vacation here, blah, 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 blah. So that's how you do that. Um, really, really key, you gotta know how to do that when working with clients because you need to be able to make their logos look better than they ever thought it could um, which is going to look really good over your really nice footage shot at golden hour um, with a really cool subject <laughs> so um, yeah i hope that helps um, please reach out if you have any questions see you next time all right see you guys